thing here. Thank you. Are you absolutely positive? I probably. You don't have any games that you don't play. We have, we have all of our cartridge games. Twenty bucks. Yes, sir. Let me take a look at the movies again. All right, go ahead. I charge you two dollars for the PlayStation. Yeah, that's, that's fine. More. Dollar for the movie. Now we got the reviews above here, man. Yeah, yeah man. Fifteen. Yeah. That one is tickles me, man. He he acts retarded. Man. Said twenty. Twenty for the four movies. One, two. And PlayStation games. Yeah. All right. Sounds good to me. Okay. Bag. If you buy the rest of PlayStation, I make the deal. Both deals. Already got all of them. <laughs> I picked the ones I didn't have. Yeah, he, he's the only one can make you that. Both deals. <laughs> he's the only That's an old control rod. Right? Oh. But that thing was. It's one of my favorites. I love the advantage. I loved it because it had the joystick. Said twenty. Yeah. Okay. Sure I'm deal, but... <laughs> I know. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, YouTube, so these are my finds for the week. Not a whole lot here, but some good quality stuff that I'll be able to keep for the collection for free, and that is always the plus in doing what we do. So, the first two games that I found in the week were Zack and Wiki on the Wii and Jaws Unlimited Predator on the Wii. I'll be keeping both of these. They were both complete, and I got both of these for $1.80. Here's the receipt actually, and you can see a dollar eighty ring up, three dollars and ninety-two cents. Can't complain there. Two awesome games for the Wii into my collection. At Goodwill, I found Wii Sports Complete and NBA Street Volume 2 Black Label Complete. Now, the Black Label Complete version of NBA Street Volume 2 can fetch about $22 to $24 as well as Wii Sports can fetch around $13 to $15 complete with the, the cardboard sleeve, the game, and the manual. 
Both of those are already listed on eBay. If you see this before they have sold and you're interested in either one of those, let me know on Instagram or Facebook. At another yard sale, I picked up Monster Jam Path of Destruction with the Monster Jam um, We Will. Now this game alone, just by itself, doesn't go for a whole lot, but when you pair it up with the Will, it can go for about $16 to $18, $19, uh, which is always awesome. It was a game I did not have. It was a steering wheel I did not have, and so I'll be out adding that into the collection. So we'll put that in the little collection pile right there. Um, at another yard sale for $20, I picked up these two Tiger games. I remember taking Tiger games to school with me back in the day, playing a little bit of video games uh, because I did not want to take my Game Boy. If I got in trouble with, you know, having my Game Boy and I got that confiscated, I'd be, I'd be very upset. But having these little Tiger games, um, they were easy to hide in your little backpack and, you know, during recess or whatnot pull them out and play a little bit of video games. So I found those two, as well as the NES Max controller. Um, very awesome. I did not have this. I'll be keeping that. And the NES Advantage. <laughs> this is the first time I have found this controller. It's very common. It's about a $20 controller on eBay. Um, but I did not have it. And I remember having it as a kid. This controller right here, especially when you play a game like uh, Mylon Secret Castle. In Mylon Secret Castle, if you like run out of hearts, you die. Uh, there are no like extra lives or anything. You've got a little heart meter on the side of the game, and if you run out, if you run out of all of those hearts, you die. But in Mylon Secret Castle, you're going through this castle collecting money and keys and, and different items, boots. And uh, there's certain parts in the game where you like have to fight dragons. And you're shooting bubbles at the dragons. Well, this controller right here, I remember I bought this controller simply to play Mylon Secret Castle back in the day. Why? Because you've got a slow motion button right here. And that slow motion button, you could hit that. It would slow the game down. And you would be able to control Mylon a lot better when he was fighting those dragons. And you didn't get hit as much with the, you know, the dragon's fire. So it was a lot easier to beat the dragons if you had this controller. I loved it. So I bought that controller simply to play Mylon Secret Castle, and then I realized, hey, it goes, it goes well with a lot of other games. Speaking of other games, so I picked up the Tiger games, the two controllers, and these two NES games, Tetris and Mario 3, some very common games, as well as an empty case of Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. I asked if he had more games... He goes inside and brings this out, and I'm thinking, oh, heck yes, cha-ching. I'm about to sell this on eBay and make about $70. But when I opened it up, there was no manual, and inside was a copy of Burnout. So I asked if I could just have the case. They were like, yeah, sure. So I went ahead and grabbed the case. I planned on selling the case on eBay just by itself. I can probably get 15 to 20 bucks maybe for it. So, easy flip there. Uh, Tetris and Super Mario, those will be flips, but the controllers are for keeps. Um, and the Tiger games are for keeps, so we'll put that in a little keep pile back here. Now, uh, I also picked up World Heroes Anthology at that same yard sale. So we got the two controllers, the two Tiger games, the two NES games, the empty Dragon Ball Z case, and then World Heroes Anthology, that was complete. So, this was a game I did not have. That's going in the keep pile. And then the last pickup were these games right here. So, what I'll be getting rid of and what I'll be keeping is uh, Armor Core Nine Breaker. I already have this in my collection. Uh, Complete. This goes for around $22 to $24, so that's being sold. Uh, 
If you're interested, let me know. Kaya, uh, Dark Lineage, someone actually messaged me. I can't remember if it was on Instagram or Facebook and said that they bought this day one and it is a very underrated platformer. It kind of looked like a like a like an RPG to me when I first found it today because I've never seen this game and I'm looking at the back cover and I'm like eh, it kind of looks RPG ish but come to find out it's an, it's a platform so I'm definitely going to check this out and that's going in the keep pile now the three Final Fantasy games I already have all those so those are going to be strictly for resale. Now, however, Final Fantasy VII looks black label from the front. But from the side, the back of this is Greatest Hits. And it has a black label manual, a color manual, with Greatest Hits disc. So, I'm going to be selling this as a Greatest Hits copy. And if anyone is interested in Final Fantasy VII... Uh, let me know. It is complete. It's got all three discs, the manual. However, it has been Frankenstein. And uh, it is what it is. But then we got Final Fantasy Origins, complete greatest hits, and Final Fantasy Tactics, complete greatest hits. These other two I did not have. Now, Shadow Man I do have on the N64, but I did not have it on PlayStation 1. And then Activision Classic Games I did not have. Anytime I can pick up some PS1 games that I do not have, they are going right there in the key pile. So, this is the, uh, the resale pile here. And, and then over there is the key pile. So folks, if any of this interests you, let me know. And we can work out a deal. Just hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. If you've enjoyed the content, by all means, hit that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the bell icon while you're at so you get notifications. I hope you've had a fantastic week. I know I have. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.